If what AMD just said turns out to be true, then our chances of getting an RX 6000 series card at MSRP just got much higher. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Ares Game and their AGV 750 power supply. The AGV 750 is a 750 watt 80 plus bronze semi-modular power supply with over 335 star ratings on Amazon. It features great looking black modular cables, over power and over voltage protection, a silent 120 millimeter fan, and best of all, a five year warranty. Additionally, the AGV 750 comes with enough cables to power all your devices and they even include the screws and nice black zip ties for cable management. So if you're looking for an affordable and high quality semi-modular power supply, click the link in the description below to find out more. So shortly after the launch of the RX 6000 series cards, when asked over on Twitter about whether or not AMD would continue to create the reference RX 6800, 6800 XT as well as 6900 XT, AMD Scott Herkelman said yes, but only through early 2021. So that got a lot of us very nervous because, you know, know, the reference RX 6800 series cards as well as the RX 6900 XT do seem to be the only ones you can currently get at MSRP where if you look at the RX 6800 and 6800 XT you'll notice that the AIB cards tend to be very very expensive. I mean if you take a look at say the RX 6800 XT it's MSRP is supposed to be about $650 and a lot of these cards are closer to $800 for the AIB cards if you can find them which is you know that's just way 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 too much money and then uh, same thing for the RX 6800 it's MSRP is supposed to be $580 and these things are over $700 a lot of times. So yeah, that's not a very good deal, especially when you compare it to Nvidia's offerings where yeah, you might not be able to get an RTX 3080 at MSRP, but a lot of these cards, you know, they're under $800. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense to go with the 6800 XT if it's going to give you similar performance, but it's going to be more expensive and it's not going to have things like DLSS and it's going to have inferior ray tracing. But you know, at its MSRP, the 6800 and 6800 XT are absolutely fantastic deals, especially considering that they have that 16 gigabytes of VRAM. But here's where some new information comes in that, you know what, this is some pretty good news that I got to share with you guys. So over on Twitter, Scott Herkelman just replied to that tweet once again and had this to say, quote, we've just officially extended the reference design builds indefinitely due to popular demand. Thanks for the feedback. So this is absolutely fantastic news because this means that for all of us who are looking for those RX 6800 and 6800 XT cards, well, our chances of getting one at MSRP just got drastically higher because, I mean, it, could you imagine if we went forward here with very low supply as well as an AMD stopping making the reference cards well you'd pretty much be looking at every single card you could possibly buy is going to be significantly over MSRP now I believe uh, Hardware and Box mentioned that they talked to AMD and, and on the phone at one point and AMD told them that they expected some more uh, AIB designs to be coming in here shortly sometime in December that'll be closer to that uh, MSRP but you know I haven't seen really much yet and we're getting you know to the middle of December here so hopefully by January that does end up happening because I know there are a lot of people out there who do want an uh, AIB designed RX 6800 or 6800 XT because, you know, typically they give you a little bit more power to play with or maybe they're going to be a little bit quieter, you know, they have better designs overall, so they're just typically better cards that, you know, even though the reference design is very good, there's always a little bit of room to improve there, so I personally like AIB designs better, so again I hope that that does end up happening shortly here, but it looks like, you know, if you are looking for an MSRP card, that our chances are going to be getting better, and on top of that, you know, I've been noticing that over on Twitter there's been a lot more um, bots saying that the RX 6800 and 6800 XT graphics cards have been coming in stock. Now, the RX 6900 XT, I haven't really seen a whole lot of movement on that front as, you know, that card did just come out, so maybe give it another week or two before restocks start happening, but I've been seeing, you know, quite a few days here, you know, it seems like almost every single day, maybe every other day, I've been seeing restocks of the 6800 especially, as well as the 6800 XT, which is good news for anyone out there who's looking for cards, and you know, if you compare it to the RTX 3080, well, it does does seem like these 6800 and 6800 XT graphics cards are coming in stock far more frequently, which is a little bit surprising because the RTX 3080 has been out for a very long time at this point. And, you know, it's looking like if you do want that level of performance, you might end up having to go with AMD in the short term because, again, they're restocking far more frequently from what I'm seeing. It seems like the RTX 3080 is incredibly difficult to get still. And, you know, there's a lot of theories as to why that might be. And my personal theory, and this isn't confirmed, but my thoughts are, you know, the RTX 3080 is made on the exact same die as the RTX 3090. It's the GA102. And it, if the GA102 is yielding very well, well, they can probably make
make a lot of 3090s and I've been seeing a lot of 3090s going up for sale. So if you're going to be able to make a car that's going to sell out pretty much no matter what, and one of them's $1,500 and one of them $700, well, if you're going to be uh, putting yourself in NVIDIA's shoes, well, you're going to want to make a lot more money and sell $1,500 cards off of the exact same GPU rather than sell that same GPU for $700. I mean, you're just going to make a whole lot more money that way. So yeah, that's my theory. I'm guessing that, you know, as soon as people stop buying RTX 3090s, which I highly suggest you, you do not buy an RTX 3090 because it's extremely expensive. I get there's a lot of people out there who you don't want to wait any longer and, you know, you're able to see a 3090, you're actually able to buy one, whereas you're not really able to buy an RTX 3080 right now. It's very, very difficult. So it's very tempting. But my suggestion would be just wait it out, get, get maybe an RTX 3070 instead. It's a very powerful graphics card and those do seem to be coming in stock a lot more frequently. So uh, I just highly suggest you avoid the RTX 3090 or scalped cards on eBay because I think once you start talking about paying over a thousand dollars for a GPU, if you're if you're just gaming on it now, if you're doing professional workloads, I understand that a little bit. But if you're just gaming, yeah, I'd suggest maybe trying to stay away from spending over a thousand dollars just because you're not going to be getting a whole lot more performance for the money that you're spending. Because if you look at the 3090 versus the 3080, it's like 10 percent faster on average, and it's like eight hundred dollars more. So it, yeah, that's not a great deal, and I would definitely avoid trying to spend that much if you possibly can. But you know, there is one little update I do want to give you on the RTX 3080 stock, just to give you an idea of why maybe another reason why it might be kind of difficult to get an RTX 3080 right now. And that's because, you know, a little while ago, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wong had this to say, quote, I believe that demand will outstrip all of our supply throughout the year. Remember, we're also going into the double whammy. The double whammy is the holiday season. Even before the holiday season, we were doing incredibly well. And then you add on top of it the ampere factor. And then you add on top of that the ampere holiday factor. And we're going to have a really, really big Q4 season. So, yeah, it's just looking like they're expecting that, you know, throughout the rest of this year into December, it's going to be very difficult for you to get your hands on a new RTX 30 series card and especially the RTX 3080. Now, in January, when hopefully the 3070 Ti, more rumors start coming out about that, as well as the 3080 Ti should be launching at that point. Maybe then at that point, you'll start to see more RTX 3080s, but I think this card, you know, it, it gives you pretty good value in terms of performance per dollar, despite the fact that it's a very expensive card. So it's very high demand, and on top of that, like I mentioned earlier, NVIDIA could be making $1,500 per card versus $700 per card, so there's a lot less incentive for them to sell you that card. So it's just gonna be very difficult to find, but again, if you're looking for a card, keep your eyes out for those 6800 and 6800 XTs, because going through December as well as January, there should be quite a bit more available, hopefully closer to MSRP. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about the supply of the 6800 and the RTX 3080? Which one do you think you'll be able to get your hands on first if you're looking for one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.